Jesse Mincher with GetHandles.com. Today I got a crazy street ball crossover that's completely legal if you do it the right way, and it's called the Stop Step. Real quick before we jump into the video, leave a comment down below. Let me know what else you guys want to see from the channel. I'll be getting a ton of ideas from you guys. The things I'm getting the most comments on are the things I'm going to bring you guys. So thanks for all the comments you guys have been leaving and leave me a bunch more so I know what else to bring you. And if you haven't yet and you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and get on that notification squad so you can catch the newest tips, tutorials, drills, moves, all that stuff I'm bringing for you guys. Let's jump into the stop step. All right, so this move is a little bit more of a flashy type move, more to get oohs and ahs. So if you are doing this, you know, thinking about doing this in front of your coach for an organized basketball team, you're probably going to want to think twice. This isn't something you're probably going to want to do for that situation. Again, it's more for entertainment, more pickup basketball, rec leagues maybe, uh, but make sure you pay attention to the tips in this to keep it legal if you do want to do it in pickup basketball because otherwise you get some people calling you for carries and whatnot. So the first thing we're going to start off with is a 360 wrap behind the back and basically what that's going to look like is this. Okay, now to do that without carrying is very tough. And I know even myself sometimes when I do it, I do tend to carry with it just because it's, it feels more comfortable and easy to do it. So you wanna you know, keep in mind your positioning on the basketball. If your hand goes over halfway under the ball on this side or this side, for any move you do, that is technically a carry. So when you're doing this wrap, you wanna try to keep your hand over halfway on top of the ball, wrap it around, and then push it back to the same side, okay? So whichever hand has the ball, you're trying to wrap it all the way behind the back and then back in front of the body, back to that same hand. So what you wanna do to do that is, when you're wrapping the ball around, bring this hand all the way to the opposite side and try to get it in front of your waist. Notice how my palm, I talk about this in a lot of my fundamental breakdown, the next level breakdowns that I do, as far as paying attention to which direction your palm's facing. It's facing that way, so the ball's probably gonna travel that way, okay? So coming here, and then adding a little bit of a wrist flick at the end there to get the ball to push that way a little more. And if you give a little finger curl at the last second too to kind of curl those fingers in, you can kind of get the ball to push back even tighter this way, okay? Little tip for you to keep it tighter to your body. If you don't add that in there, the ball tends to come out further in front of the body, okay? So what you want to do is try to get it tight back to this side. Okay, and you want it to land kind of right in front of this foot. Now instead of catching it back with the same hand, you're gonna bring this leg up, okay? So once the ball gets here, you're gonna lift this leg up. That timing is important. You wanna make sure you do it after the ball comes here, because if you do it too soon, you hit the basketball, okay? So you wanna make sure that timing is so it's after the ball has bounced. Then you're gonna lift that leg up. The opposite hand is gonna come over the top of the basketball and in a sham god motion, tap it under that leg, okay? So like this this okay key tip I can give you on that is when the hand comes on the basketball try to keep it real tight and close to the knee and then tap the outside of the knee that's gonna ensure the basketball comes through almost every single time it'll make it a lot easier for you so here here all right now this is where the stop step comes into it so so far we've been doing some crazy stuff and we just started lifting this leg this lifting the leg is what the stop step is because you're stopping and you're going to keep this leg in the air and you're going to sham got it between the legs okay so we did a sham got from one side across the leg then the other hand's going to get the basketball and sham got it through that way again good key tip on that tap the leg on the inside this time with that hand so tap on the outside tap on the inside all right then from there, all you wanna do is, uh, you're gonna have this leg lifted, right? So when you come between the legs with this, what you're gonna wanna do is kind of really drop down onto this step and put your weight into it to allow you to explode to the basket quickly because you're gonna be kind of more upright for this. So you wanna use this leg being lifted to your advantage because normally trying to move from a position like this and holding it's gonna be hard, right? But if you allow it to kind of drop down and forward like that, it's gonna kind of put you into a nice, you know, propelled motion forward right away. So all together, it's gonna to be like this, this, this. And notice that timing. When I pull the ball through here, as the ball's hitting the ground, I'm trying to get my foot onto the ground at the same time that the ball's hitting the ground. So that way, when this foot comes down, this hand can get on the basketball and I can start pushing forward right away. There's no pause in there or anything like that because I'm coming here, stopping, and then going. That difference in timing is gonna be huge. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. Like, you might think, well, how am I gonna get all this off with a defender on me? Well, you don't wanna probably do this with your defender real tight to you to begin with 
Uh, if you are going to though, you want to make sure you really sell this behind the back that you're either going to come this way with like doing it like a crossover or that you're going to do it almost like a pass, like you're trying to pass to a teammate to kind of freeze them up or at least put them to sleep. So that way, that gives you the timing and the space to bring the ball all the way back to this hand or to the side, I should say, because you're going to come with the other hand and then go into that next dribble. So it'll give you the time to do that and that, okay? Then from there, if you can get those first two dribbles off, you should be good to go because when you pull it back with the sham god between the legs, you're pulling it away from the defender and protecting the basketball with your leg here. And that's one final key tip I want to give you is focusing on pulling the ball back and getting it, the ball behind your hip here. Because if you do that sham god between the legs more forward, it can allow you to go forward a little more quickly, but you're also putting the ball out here where it's unprotected and the defender can get after it. If it's back here, it's going to be a lot harder for the defender to get their hand on the basketball. So big breakdown, three dribble moves, fairly complex. Going to take a little while to get down, but if you put the repetitions in, I can guarantee you can. But let's take a look at it though full speed from some different angles. If you thought this move was crazy and you want some more crazy ankle breaking moves, make sure you click this link in the top right hand corner of the screen. I'll send you four more crazy street ball moves that are completely legal, as well as email you some secrets to breaking down defenders that a typical basketball player wouldn't know about. These are kind of street ball type secrets to legally beat your defender. So this isn't like stuff you can't actually do in a game. You can actually do this stuff in a game. Just click that link in the top right hand corner of the screen. Otherwise, you can click the top link in the description down below. It's gethandles.com slash dragon dash bounce. Just pop in your email and I'll send that to you instantly for free. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you click that like button, leave a comment down below, let me know if you got this move off in a game, and let me know if there's anything else you want to see from the channel. The things I'm getting the most comments on are the things I'm going to bring you guys the videos for. And if you haven't yet, make sure you click that subscribe button and get on that notification squad to catch the newest tips, tutorials, and drills I'm bringing for you guys. As always, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more, and break some ankles today.